Myths or misconceptions you often hear in the realms of sexual wellness. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Martha Tara Lee, Relationship Counselor and Clinical Sexologist. Subscribe below so you never miss a thing. So there are so many myths and misconceptions uh, around, around sex. Um, so I think one of the biggest ones that have come out in recent years is that uh, in order to be a sexually empowered, sexually well person, you must have a sex toy. I, I don't think so. I think uh, sex toys, sexual aids, lubricants and uh, things that don't vibrate, whatnot. I don't think they're here to replace anybody. They don't replace the emotional connection that you have with your partner. Um, however, it also doesn't mean that you are less of a person if you don't have one. Uh, if you find that it helps, you're curious, you want to have fun, yes, definitely by all means, but I don't think um, the tone of like you must have or else you are less than uh, is true. So I think that's one myth and misconception. And um, then having said that, I think um, another thing that I keep coming across is that uh, it's unnatural. <laughs> it's unnatural to have toys, um, but it's just as unnatural for us to be using toothbrushes because they are um, not from nature, they are manufactured. And how about electric toothbrushes? We use them because it helps us to have an easier life. And uh, we use escalators, we use the electricity, we use the car, we use the aeroplane. So why are we talking about them as like um, making our lives worse when in reality, um, having said that it's not necessarily a must, I also don't see it as a bad thing. I think another misconception is that you'll become addicted to them when in reality uh, it's not true. We are creatures of variety and experimentation and creativity and so it, it can enhance, it, it can make things fun and playful and more comfortable, why not? Why not? Um, another misconception is um, if I am um, good enough for you, why do you need, why do you need uh, lubricants? Um, in reality, um, depending on your body, it may not produce enough uh, vaginal secretion and so it's really important to use lubricant. It helps prevent pain and also vaginal secretion dry up quite quickly. So you can go into pain quite quickly even though you were aroused but the sex goes on for quite a while and then the uh, dryness can start to set in and then the pain can come in. And it's really not funny to put out with pain because over time what happens is the body starts to become scared of the pain and the body can even reject sex or even reject um, the idea of um, um, arousal by itself. So it's really important to be open to using whatever sexual aids that you need to make it a more pleasurable experience. So I have shared just three things already. The first one is, uh, I don't think it's a must. I think there's a misconception. You must otherwise or else you are less than. Two, uh, that there's something wrong if you need to use sex toys. Again, it's not true. It just helps, supports, makes things more fun. Three, when it comes to lubrication, it's really important to be open to it. There are many different types of lubricants on the market and um, you can actually go for the better ones, the organic one, uh, look for recommendations. Not all lubricants are the same, even if they are all water-based or even if they are all silicon-based. So get more informed, get more educated about the different types of. I have many different videos on my YouTube channel. So do check out the other videos uh, explaining about the different types of lubricants as well. So yeah, three misconceptions here. This has been Dr. Mata Tara Lee relationship counselor and clinical sexologist. So go to my website eroscoaching.com, eroscoaching.com, subscribe so you can get my mailing list and um, more exclusive content.